So we'll give it, what are we on? Four o'clock now. We'll just give it another 60 seconds. And then we'll start going through a gentle warm up just to loosen everything off. I'm not going to go mad. We just want to loose off the muscles that we're going to work, get everything firing a little bit. But primarily, like I say today, we're going to hit the shoulders. Um, you know, especially for you guys who are triathletes, swimmers, you know, it's really important to get that shoulder rotation, get that, that strength in the shoulders there. So we're going to work on those today. You know, these all tie in together. So where last week we hit lats and things like that, this week we're hitting the shoulders more. Every week we're going to hit your legs, get those legs strong. But today it's going to be shoulders primarily, then lower body, core obviously, and then that should do us for the day. Okay, hopefully we'll be a tad under an hour. Okay, so we'll just go through that warm up. So let's warm those shoulders up, okay? So we're going to come here and just roll those shoulders back. Okay, we're just going to go 30 seconds rolling them back and then we're going to roll them forward. Okay, keep coming. 10 seconds. Hi, Sue. Okay, and then roll them forward. Okay, like I said, for Sue and Tina, hi Tina, who've just turned up. If you can get yourself a tennis ball or a ball of sorts, that's going to be helpful when we get to the core section. Okay, otherwise, a single weight that you can comfortably hold above your head in one hand or both hands, so in that sort of format here, the weight you can hold there will be perfect for the first section of what we're doing, okay? Okay, so let's just, so from the hips, keeping those arms together, so rotating from the hip, so make sure you're not just moving your shoulders like that, it really is from that hip. So another 10 seconds. Okay, and then we'll stretch those triceps out. So bring the arm up straight, then back down, hold that stretch. Three, two, one, arm up straight, come back down. Three, two, one, up straight, come back down. Three, two, one, switch arms, hold three, two, one, up nice and straight, come back down, three, two, one, okay, up straight, come back down, three, two, one, up straight, back down, three, two, one. Okay, let's work, just loosening up, firing up those muscles there, so we're gonna come into a lunge, just gently just rock forward. Don't go down too deep into that lunge. Hi, Julie. Okay, for anyone who's just managed to log on a little bit late and missed me rambling at the start. Okay, switch legs. Hopefully you saw my message I sent earlier. Ideally, you want, so hand weight, so dumbbells of equal weight, but only for one section of it. For the shoulders for our first section, you're looking for a single weight or just something you can hold in both hands that you can comfortably hold in that position, talk in a circle like that. Back up, and a ball, a ball of sorts, tennis ball, hockey ball, anything, that just something that can roll, and then you'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna come into a, just a sideways lunge there. So stretching down here, three, two, one, back up, and back down, same side, 
three, two, one, back up, back down, same side, three, two, one, up, back down, three, two, one, switch sides, three, two, one, down, three, two, one, three, two, one, okay, and last one, three, two, one, good, just five minutes, get your balance slightly, we're going to come up onto our toes, back down to the floor, let's do five, four, three, two, one, single leg, five, four, three, two, one, on the other leg, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna hit your shoulders first. Make sure you've got a drink. We're gonna run this as a circuit. For the guys I've worked with before, you'll have probably done this. Okay, so you should be able to ace this okay. It's a really, really good circuit for hitting your shoulders, getting all that full rotation in there. Hi, Jane. Get yourself a single plate if you've got one. So we're gonna hit those shoulders, okay? So it's gonna work front of your shoulders into the back and full rotation of that shoulder, okay? So especially for the swimmers out there, really good movement for when we're getting that movement in that front crawl position there, building that strength in that shoulder. But just generally for shoulder health, this is a really, really good circuit to do. Okay, so get a weight plate or a single dumbbell or just anything, it can be a kettlebell, but just something you can hold. If you can hold it out there like that, yeah, if you can hold it there, then it's about the right weight, okay? But just deal with what you've got. All right, so get your weight plate, arms straight out, so about here. We're coming up, straight arms, straight arms to here. So inside of your elbows, we're brushing against your ears. Then we're going to hinge from the elbow, come back down into a tricep extension, up, and then back down to here. Okay, we're going to be doing 10 of those. Okay, so we'll do those 10 first, then we'll move into the second exercise. So three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so that's one. Two, three, four, keep those arms nice and straight. If you bend from the elbow on that lift up, you're taking that pressure off the shoulder and you're putting it onto your bicep. I think that's 10, but let's do one more just to make sure. Up, up, up. Okay, 10. Bring that plate and now bring it to here. Slightly up at an angle. Bring it into your chest. We're pushing straight out for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. Shake those shoulders out. Get that plate. In front of you now, we're doing a circle. So if I show you here, we're coming there. So we're not high, not down low. That's where we're going to be. We're going to do 10 clockwise, 10 anti-clockwise. Three, two, one, let's go. Keeping those arms nice and straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Okay, shake your shoulders out. Come back again the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. That's one circuit. We're going to run through that three times. So again, just roll those shoulders. Get that tension out, that should have been burning around, all around here. 
Okay, especially on that third one. Okay, so then we're good to go. Grab that weight plate back. Okay, so we've got those front raises going to tricep extensions. So ready, three, two, one. Okay, up. Two, remember as we come down, we don't want to be winging out nice and tight. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is 10. We're gonna go straight into that press. So there, into your chest, push. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Shake those shoulders out. Get ready for those circles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Woo! Burns. Right, let's go back again the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Get yourself a quick drink. Roll those shoulders. One more circuit of this to go. Okay, when you're ready, arms straight out. There, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Straight into that press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Shake those shoulders out. Roll them out. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to feel, Helen. Hopefully you're all thinking, ouch, as well. Okay, so stretch those shoulders, roll them out. Okay, come on. 10 each way. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Roll those shoulders. Get that burn out of there. Three, two, one. Back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Well done. That's the end of circles. But you can see what I mean about it. it works all the way around those shoulders. So it's really good for giving you that strength in that shoulder. Especially anything that involves rotation on there, this is gonna give you really good strength in there, okay? And it also gives you quite good definition in your shoulders as well. Okay, so we're gonna move on to a really basic exercise. We're just gonna do a shoulder press. Okay, so this is where you ideally want two weights of equal measure in each hand, whether that's a dumbbell in each hand or a weight plate in each hand. Okay, if you haven't got one, you've only got a single weight, so you may have a single kettlebell. If that's the case, we're gonna be doing reps of 10. So what I want you to do if you've got a single kettlebell or a single weight, is I just want you to do five on each side. Okay, so get your five and switch and do your five another. And that will be your set of 10, okay? So either get your dumbbells, your weight plates, or your kettlebell. 
And let's go into some shoulder presses. Three sets of 10. So three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, take 30 seconds, get a quick drink. Hopefully you're all feeling this in your shoulders now. Again, you'll find people don't tend to work their shoulders very much. It's a weakness that you have in the chain of your body. So if you can strengthen those weaknesses as a whole, everything will get stronger, okay? So especially in swimming and things like that, if you can hit a weakness, which is maybe your shoulders or like last week your lats, plugging those gaps will just make you stronger overall, okay? So let's get into that second set. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Again, take a rest. Let's roll those shoulders back. And forward if you need to, just to ease them off slightly. Okay, so one more set of this, then we're going to move on to some core exercises before we hit the lower body. Okay, so get your weights back. Okay, so three, two, one. Come, we come. Okay, push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, rack your weights. Okay, so we're moving on to the floor now. So we're moving on to the core. We're gonna do three exercises. Okay, ideally I want you to have a single weight. Yeah, single weight for one of them. And then this is where you're gonna need the ball, okay? So your single weight's gonna be whatever you want. Kettlebell, dumbbell, weight plate, uh, medicine ball, big jar of rice, pasta, beans, it doesn't really matter. Okay, you're going to come into a crunch position here. You could have done these before. We're going to do a Russian twist. So come into the side there. Make sure you're turning from your hip rather than just your shoulder. We're going to do 10. Then we're going to come back up. Press up, come back down. So you want to come back far enough so you can feel that it's your core here that's stopping you from falling back, okay? So we're going to do 10 of those. So that's 10 with the press. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Press. 1, 2, 3, 4. Press. We're going to do 10 of those, okay? After your 10, you're going to put the weight down. You're going to come straight in to those kick outs. There. 20 of those. This is one after the other. Okay, and then we're going to come into a plank position with that ball. A good, what, 15, 20 centimetres ahead of you, and then we're going to roll it. You're going to roll from one hand to the other, nice and controlled. Okay, if you can't do that, it's a big ask, then all I want you to do is with this hand, put it in front of your other hand, then come back, left hand in front of your right hand, okay? If you can't do that, then I just want you to hold the plank, okay, for the amount of time that we take to do this. We're gonna do 10, so five each way. Okay, so we're gonna go, starting off with that twist and crunch, 
So you want to get yourself into position. So here. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Up. Crunch. One, two, three, four. Up. Crunch. Crunch. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, drop that plate, straight in. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, we're doing twenty, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, good. Get your ball, get into that plank position. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, so nice and controlled. Ten, good. Jump in, up, get yourself a drink. Well done. Give yourself 30 seconds. Everyone okay with that? We're going to run through that three more times. Anyone's got any issues, shout up now. If you're okay, give me a thumbs up. So no one said you're not okay, so I'll take that as good. Right, okay. So let's get back into that twist position, to that crunch. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, four, up, crunch. One, two, three, four, up, crunch. Crunch. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, drop your weight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Twelve, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Come into that plank. That ball. Let's go. Nice and slow. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's ten, good, halfway through this, get yourself a drink. Okay, get ready to go again with those twists. 
Remember with these, you want to make them a bit harder. Just lift those feet off the floor. It's going to make it a lot harder, a lot tougher for you. Okay. If you want to make it easier, I ain't got much for you there, I'm afraid. Losing the weight might make it easier for you. But otherwise, if you need to take a break, just take a break during it. Do them in sets of five, or maybe just do the five instead of the ten if you are finding it a bit too hard. Okay, but you all should be cool. Okay. So three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Come on, press. Two. Three. Four. Come on, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, drop that weight into those kick outs. Ten. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Good. Grab your ball. Almost dropped it. Into your plank. Let's go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, keep that core nice and tight. Eight. Keep yourself as flat as you can. Nice and controlled. That's ten. Good. Get yourself a drink. Okay, one more run through there. Then we're gonna head on to those legs. Come on, the legs bit, that's the way you all come for. All you runners and triathletes. That's what we want, big powerful legs. Even your swimmers, really, you want a nice kick there. Okay, let's get this course out of the way, just as important, okay? Okay, last one. Okay, so come back, get that core nice and tight. There, one, two, three, four, up, press. One, two, three, four, up, press. That's three, four. Six, come on. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Come on, straight to those kick outs. Twenty of them, let's go. Nine, ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Into your plank with the ball. Right, let's go. The last ten. Remember, core nice and tight, nice and flat. Don't come up. Stay nice and flat, stretching out, stretching those abs out as you bring that arm forward. Woo. That's six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Jump in. That's our core done. Okay, so we're going to hit the legs. We're going to hit the lower body. Okay, so we need a single weight. I think primarily for this. Yeah, okay. So we want a single weight. So if that's a dumbbell, then you're holding your dumbbell here. Okay. There's a kettlebell here. And obviously, if it's a weight plate, again, you're holding it here, okay? We're not running this as a circuit, we're going to run this as individual exercises. So we're going to start with mountain climbers. Ooh, horrible, I know. Just to get those legs warm back up. We're doing three sets of 20. Get yourself a quick drink. Once we've done the mountain climbers, I'll go through each exercise that we're going to do. Okay, so into that plank position, three, two, one. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, rest. Oh, did I forget to mention I count one leg, not two. Okay, but this is good. This is gets everything around here warmed up. Good to go. So 10 seconds. We go again. Into position. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, good. Okay, one more to do. Okay, we're gonna go in 10 seconds. Get yourself a drink. Okay, into position. Three, two, one. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 18, 19, 20. Good. Well done. Right, okay, we're heading to the more targeted exercises now. Okay, so with your single weight, I'll just demo this to you. Uh, I'll do it with a kettlebell, just in case. Anyone out there is using a kettlebell. Okay, so I'm using a kettlebell. I'm going to come in to a reverse lunge. I'm going to come up and drive this knee up, there, up, so show you from the side, so here, up, here, up, here, up, we're going to do 10 on each side, 10 on each leg, we're not alternating, we're doing 10 on our right and 10 on our left, so in case you pick your weight, you're just holding that weight here. You do nothing else with it, okay? So whatever you're most comfortable with. Okay, all good? Okay, so we're gonna go in 20 seconds. Remember, we're on a really nice knee drive at the top and then back in. Make sure when you come back in, you come back into that lunge, you are nice and straight. You're not kicking off. From the side of your foot like that, you're kicking off from the ball of your foot, everything is straight around, you're coming straight up. Okay? So three, two, one. Come back, drive up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Good. Switch legs. Straight into it. Three, two, one. Three. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Give those legs a shake out. Oh, oh! I felt that on number seven. Okay, we've got two more sets of that. Okay, get yourself a drink. We're going again in 10 seconds. So get your weight. Nice even stance. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Nine, ten, good. Get back nice and level. Ready to go that left leg. Let's go. More five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. One more circuit round of that. Come on, shake those legs out. Get that lactic acid out of them. Ooh. Your legs are going to feel this by the end. Okay, so we're going to go again in 15 seconds. So get yourself ready. Okay, in 10. Ooh. Okay. So three, two, one. Seven, eight, Nine, ten, good, switch legs, let's go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, well done, Ooh. That's done. Oh. Right, okay. So we're going to do some squats now. We're going to be moving within these squats. When we're moving, we're moving in a squat position, okay? Again, with a weight. You want a nice heavy weight on this one. Okay, so. Again. Some of you lucky people have done this already. It looks a bit odd. But it's alright, you're in self-isolation, no one can see you to laugh, so it's fine. Okay, so you're going to be here. You're going to come into a squat. You're going to go one, two, three. You're going to stay in that squat position there. You're going to walk back. One, two, in that squat position. Up, one, two, three. Back down, walk forward. One. Two, one, two, three, and then we continue. Forward and back is one rep, okay? We're doing 10 reps. If you need to take a rest during this, take a rest, okay? Try and stay as deep into that squat as you can when you're walking. It's called a duck walk for a reason. I don't think I need to explain any more than that. Right, okay. So get your weight, 
So in three, two, one, let's go. So one, two, three, stay there, walk back. One, two, up, one, two, three, one rep, walk forward, two, up, one, two, three, back, up, one, two, three, that's two, walk forward, one, two, three, walk back, one, two, three, forward, one, two, three, come back. One, two, three, come forward. One, two, three, come back. One, two, three, come forward. One, two, three, come back. One, two, three, come forward. Come on, four more. One, two, three, come back. One, two, three, forward. One, two, three, back. Up. One, two, three, that's eight. One, two, three, come back. One, two, three, that's nine, forward. That's one. One, two, three, come back. Up. One, two, three, good. Stretch your legs, shake them out. That's one round. Oh, hope you enjoyed that. That's a tough one, that one. Right, okay. So, we've got two more sets of those squat walks to do, and then you've got your leg finisher, okay? Okay, so, grab your weight, and we go again. <laughs> the kind of torture you enjoy, Jane. You love it, really. You know you do. Right, you ready? So let's go. So one, two, three. Come back. Up. One, two, three. Forward. Up. One, two, three. Come back. Two, three, come back. Up, one, two, three, that's five, forward. Just remember that you want to be nice and upright. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, you don't want to be leaning forward like that. Okay, so let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three, 
One, two, three. I've lost count, we'll do one more. One, two, three. Good. Take a break, get a drink. One more set to do. Like I say on these, when you're in that squat position, make sure you're sitting down into that squat. So there, rather than getting to here and leaning forward, okay? If you find that you are leaning forward, maybe just drop the weight. Just do it body weight and just really sit back into that squat, okay? So we're gonna go in 10 more seconds. Oh, where's my drink? It's there. Okay, so get your weight. I'll go sideways on so you can see what I mean about keeping that back as straight as you can and really sitting down into that squat. If I don't do it right, oh, yeah, go on, comment and tell me off. Right, three, two, one. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, stay down. Up, one, Two, three, stay down. Come on, four more. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, this is eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, last one. One, two, three. Come back. One, two, three. Drop that one. Woo. Okay, well done, guys. Leg finisher to do. Okay, so you can choose on this. You can do this body weight, or you can do this with weights. Okay, you can only really do this with weights if you've got two equal weights you can hold in each hand. So dumbbells, or a weight plate with a grip, like that, okay? So, this is how it's gonna work. Okay, so you wanna make sure you've got two things. You wanna make sure you've got your weights to hand and you've got a blank wall that you can lean against. We will be doing a wall sit, okay? So the way this is gonna go, we're gonna do, so weights by your side. We're gonna do 10 jump squats. So here, one, two, three, four. We're doing 10 of those. When you hit your 10th, Bring your waist up onto your shoulder. What they're gonna do, 10 normal squats. Okay, when you finish your 10 squats, you're gonna get yourself to your wall. You're gonna get into a wall sit. With your weights, you're gonna hold there until you need to put your weights down 
and then you're going to hold that wall sit, okay? We're going to run through this two times, maybe three times, depending on how long we've got. Okay, so get yourself a drink, give yourself the legs a shake, I'll give you 60 seconds just to make sure you've got a wall to go against. Um, I'm going to be in on this wall here, so I'll be slightly out of shot. I'll turn the camera a little bit so you can see I'm not, I won't be cheating. There we go. So I'll go here. Yeah, you can see me there. Right. So you can tell I'm not cheating then either. Ooh. Right, okay. So get your weights. We're going into jump squats, 10 off. We're going straight from jump squats, plates up here or weights here into normal squats, okay? So three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight in, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over to your wall. Into that. You can see, I'm there. You can see my legs. So hold them there. We're going to go up to a minute at the most. Ah, that'll do me. Oh. Okay, so we'll go up to the minute. If some of you are still holding on, well done. You obviously didn't work as hard as me on the earlier bits. Okay, so if you're still holding that wall sit, release yourself in three, two, one. Good. Well done. Let's take 15, 20 seconds. See, that's your reward for holding your wall sit longer. You get less recovery than everyone else. Okay, so get your weights. We're gonna go in 10. So three, two, one. Let's go, one. Nine, ten, up onto your shoulders, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Over to the wall. Right guys, for those of you still holding that wall sit, fair play on that, okay, we'll give yourself another 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and we'll call that. Good session guys, well done. We'll go through a little bit of a cool down. Let's just stretch those legs out. Let's get straight into those quads straight away. So get a nice good stretch. Okay, to hold for another 10 seconds. Remember, keep those knees together. Three, two, 
One, switch legs. Okay, another five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's come back. Let's stretch those calves. Three, two, one, switch legs. Okay, hold that stretch. Just pushing enough so you can feel it. Shouldn't be hurting. Just ease that tension in there. So 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, just come back onto the floor. So both feet flat on the floor. Bring this foot behind this knee, hands just below the knee, and just rock back slightly. You should feel the stretch here on the outside of your backside, in your glutes there. Okay, hold that for another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, switch legs. Hold for another 10 seconds. Good, release that. Come back up onto your feet. We'll stretch those shoulders out. So bring that elbow around. Hold that for another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Bring the other arm round. Again, feel that stretch all the way through here. Three, two, one. Up into your triceps. Three, two, one. And the other side. Three, two, one. Okay, good session guys. Like I say, this one focused more mainly on shoulders, obviously a lot on legs towards the end there. Obviously last week's was more on your lats and things like that. So you can combine the two workouts together. You know, next week we'll be hitting another part, we'll concentrate somewhere else. Uh, I'm not decided how yet, but we'll um, we'll make it fun. Glad it was hard work. Glad you enjoyed it. You can go back out and enjoy the rest of the sunshine now. Okay, take care, guys.